We are talking again about the soccer player evaluations and the four pillars that comprise a good development model. The first being technical, then technical skills, physical attributes, as well as mental attributes. In this particular video, we're going to talk about the tactical and attributes that we want to develop in soccer players. The first one is knowledge. And knowledge is really about understanding the game, including the rules, the strategies, our particular team style of play. We're going to play possession, or we're going to play more direct, which is sending a lot of balls and asking your forwards to try to go and take advantage of those. When you know how soccer works, like different formations and tactics, it's easier to make smarter decisions on the field. This understanding helps us anticipate plays and support our teammates better. The next one is anticipation. Anticipation, it's our ability to predict what will happen next in the game. In other words, we see the ball coming from the goalkeeper out on the right-hand side, knowing that we need to shift to the right-hand side and apply pressure there. So how good are we anticipating? If we don't really see that ahead of time, maybe our skills need to develop. If we're really good about jumping in those passing lanes, then maybe we're at a five. So when you can anticipate where the ball will go or how a play will develop, you can position yourself to make great plays or intercept passes giving our team an advantage. Next, we have vision. Vision is about seeing the whole field and recognizing opportunities. Players with really good vision can spot teammates in open spaces or identify gaps in this defense, perhaps sending a through ball or sending a ball over top if they're playing shallow. This skill helps us to make quick, effective passes and creates chances for scoring as valuable playmakers. The next under tactical is awareness. Awareness being mindful of your surroundings while playing. This includes knowing where your teammates and opponents are positioned. Good awareness helps you make better decisions, usually allowing you to make better passes, for example. Whether it's knowing when to pass, when to dribble, or when to position yourself defensively. Staying aware one step ahead. And a good way to think about awareness is checking your shoulders. Someone that always checks their shoulders and looks around, that awareness level is usually going to be much higher on the scale of 1 to 5. Speed of play. This refers to how quickly you can make decisions and execute actions. It's one thing to be able to see a play unfold, but things move fast, so being able to think and act is very important. Practicing quick passes decisions can help you to keep the game flowing and catch your opponent off guard. So are we responding quickly? Do we get there and, and prevent that player from turning on us to find a pass? Or do we apply pressure quickly so that they can't do those types of things? Understanding your role. This is probably one of the most important things in the tactical side of play. Understanding your role means knowing what is expected of you on the team. Each player has specific responsibilities based upon their position. For example, the responsibilities of a holding mid are much, much different than the responsibilities of an attacking mid. So understanding that and knowing how to adjust your play you to be a more effective player. So when you understand your role, you can contribute more effectively. You can support your teammates because of that understanding, and you can help the team function smoothly. It's about playing your part while being ready to adapt as needed. So again, when you go from something like a midfield, an attacking midfield, to say a forward or to a wing, those roles change. And so understanding that happens when you watch the game and see how your teammates play. One is transitioning. So with transitioning, it's the process of one phase of play to another, like moving from defense to attack or vice versa. Positions can catch opponents off guard and create scoring chances. It could be losing the ball and all of a sudden gaining the ball like on a throw in and being able to take advantage of your opponent by quickly transitioning, making that throw in over top of your opponent or to a space that we can run upon advantage. Transitioning also means going from wide positions on offense to more compact on defense. So understanding that transition is all part of that part of the game. So really tactical is really seeing and understanding the game. And these are all the pieces of that. So the tactical attributes, they're essential for making our performance on the soccer field even better. Knowledge and understanding of your role provide a strong foundation, while anticipation, vision, and awareness help you read and see the game better. Speed of play and effective transitioning allow you to adapt quickly and seize opportunities as they exist throughout the game. 
So by focusing on these skills, you'll not only improve individually, but also contribute significantly to your team's success.